because I see that he's got that kind of footwork and he's an in and out kind of fighter. He's doing this, right? Oh, one, boom, there's my joint shot. The parry and hit to the ribs, I'm going <coughs> and hit to the groin. But I'm beginning with kickboxing. Hit the cross coming now. Oh, I hit here, or I hit here, or I hit here, or whatever. Then, you know, maybe maybe you do the footwork thing here. It's like, all right, so I see this guy coming at me, right? So he's coming, boom, and I keep up front, and then I front kick, boom, and then I front kick, boom, right? I'm stopping him in his tracks, and then I'm going to give him eyes, boom. With linear punches, whether I'm, I'm in kickboxing mode or um, I start off in kickboxing mode because I see that he's got that kind of footwork and he's an in and out kind of fighter, he's doing this, right? As soon as I see that, I go, oh, okay, I got you. Because <laughs> I can circle you and you can try to cut me off. And as soon as I, you get one strike in or as soon as he throws one strike, like he's coming here, and I'm using my kickboxing stance, right? He's coming here to the face. So let's just say I go underneath it, boom, and I hit to the groin first. Instead of going underneath and hitting to the ribs, I can do that, okay? Or let's say he steps in and I front kick, boom, okay? Okay? He steps in and I front kick, boom, right? I hit him in the armpit or in the, <coughs> the ribs here. <coughs> or in this case, I'm going for spleen, or I could go for face, or I could go for solar plexus, or I could go for his groin. <laughs> But in this case, it's a stop kick, right? So as he steps forward, I'm stopping him in his tracks, and then I'm going to give him eyes, boom, right? I'm stopping him in his tracks, and then I'm going to give him eyes, boom, right? So you don't have to continue with punches once you're inside. Once you get that counter, you can continue with whatever you know and come through, right? Hmm. right. This is where you get to adapt, adapt and overcome. Because if they, they, you can always start off with kickboxing, but if you want to resort to your kung fu, then you know maybe maybe you do the footwork thing here. It's like all right, so I see this guy coming at me, right? So he's coming, boom! I keep up on kicking, right? And I'll see what kind of effect that has. If it doesn't seem to phase him, and he's coming back for more, then I'll have to be a little more creative. Like say he comes in, misses, so he throws a jab cross. One, boom! There's my joint shot. Cross. One. So there's my groin shot. Instead of the parry and hit to the ribs, I'm going <coughs> and hit to the groin. But I'm beginning with kickboxing, right? Beginning with kickboxing. Hmm. And I'm, I'm going into my kung fu, which, I, which I'm more comfortable with anyway. Right? But I'm just utilizing both together. Because if they want, if they were, if they're fast and efficient and they're doing the kickboxing moves and they're punching like this and they're sticking and moving and jabbing and hitting, I'm like okay, I got that. I'll play that game for a second until I get inside. That's what I mean by sucking in. And are the entries and counters the same on a cross as it is with a uh, jab? Sure. It's, it's just linear movement. So right? the jab comes. I see the cross coming now. Boom! I hit here, or I hit here, or I hit here, or whatever. I see the cross coming now. Boom! I hit here, or I hit here or I hit here, or whatever, right? Because that's my cross. This is my cross. My cross is here, <laughs> well, this is another cut. Or my cross is here, okay? Or my cross is to the face, if I feel like punching him in the face. But I don't have to punch him in the face if it's the floating or two or the liver, right? Now, let's just work on that for a second, the one, two. 